So in the career progression, <clears throat> last uh, we actually met palang last uh, Friday for the finalization of the IRR so that we can already implement it. And I just want to say that uh, for next year, we have an allocated budget of 1 billion for career progression. So, so just to start, what is our vision for career progression? So one is we wanted to make sure that no teacher is left out in the process. As we all know, I, I have an aunt who retired, who's a very good teacher, uh, but she retired teacher one no? because she was assigned somewhere and there was no other position but the teacher one. So she was, when, I, when she learned that I was with Depe, she said, that's something that you have to work on because it's difficult to have a career in the education sector if you have very limited um, levels of uh, teachers. No? So I was happy when I learned about the career progression and uh, we, we wanted to make sure that this is really implemented na next year. No? So there is going to be a very clear and distinct teacher's path so, hindi na ngayon teachers 1 to 3, but you have teachers 1 to 7. And then you make a decision whether you'd like to stay in the academic track or be in the administrative track. So, we have many ways of the strategies are for this vision is um, one is the, the, the promotion system, the reclassification, and also the expanded ladder that goes up to this career, career uh, system. Next slide. So, the career progression is based was nahabol ito nila Secretary Liling. Next slide. Um, before the end of the term of PRRD, na, naihabol natin itong Executive Order 174. We're just waiting for some some departments to to put its seal on the IRR no, before we could take this out. But we want to make sure that by the end of the year, we're done with all the administrative processes. And we can already implement this by next year because there's funds for next year. Next slide, please. <clears throat> so improving the teacher quality. Next slide. So you na yung sa EO174, no? So I'll, I'll, I'll explain that later on. Can we go to the next slide? Okay, so this is how the, the this is now the, the harmony of the different mechanisms that we have, no? So we would be intervening on the pre-service, through the Teachers Excellence Council Secretariat. Um, next, uh, on October, on November 28, we will be meeting with the 3NS because we have to make sure that the curriculum and the competency build up in, in education classes or in the curriculum of the, of the state university and colleges and even the private sector would correspond to the competency requirement that we have at least for teacher one and the other specialized courses. No? So there's going to be a very strong partnership. That's why na, na involved in dito ang NIAP because henceforth, we will not be engaging, we would probably do, but in a very limited scale, but we will not be downloading para may na rin ang, ang ano ng mga regions. We'd be partnering directly with SUCs in the region and then regionalized trainings. No? So for example, the one in, in Eastern Visayas could go either to Leyte Normal University or to Cebu Normal University. So we have to establish formal partnership with these normal schools all over the country um, would probably ask the Philippine Normal University to take the lead in these partnerships so that we could we could optimize utilization of our resources. Hindi lang, hindi na kailangan magbiyahe papuntang Manila but can actually take the courses in the ground. No? And that, and it's a go, it's going to be an, a continuing partnership with the SUCs. No? Kasi yan naman talaga ang esensya ng education for the pre-service and the continuing education of the teachers. So pagdating sa, sa in-service, the YAP will have to, as you can see there, meron tayong categorization of those that are in stage of beginning, proficient, highly proficient, and then the distinguished. So with, if you, you're all aware that there are people going around the regions, uh, people from b uh bringing down already these this processes and the training, especially on MSB, and I really hope that um, this would somehow diminish the work of the regions and the divisions and also the teachers, no, na mabawasan yung kanilang trabaho. So the techs would take care of the pre-service and then the moment it gets to us in the in-service, then it's NAYAP and the entire DepEd organization. Next slide. So for classrooms career line, so meron tayong teacher 1 to 7. And at certain point, the master teacher, they will have to make a decision whether, 
Yeah, can you put it out na lang lahat? Okay, so, very clear na yung progression, no? I think uh, this this would really make our lives simpler next year, no? Um, that's, that's the classroom teaching career line. No, and then we categorize them whether uh, they're on a beginning stage. Although there are reactions to the beginning stage, no? Kasi parang uh, teacher one to three considered ka paring beginning stage, no? So we're looking at that. Uh, that's based on feedback on the ground. So we're, we're taking, we're rethinking that aspect of categorization for beginning. And then, but we're clear insofar as the categorization for proficient, highly proficient, and distinguished. Next, uh, next, next slide. Next slide. Okay, so if you look at this slide, ito na yung ating future uh, process. So you have teachers one to three, which is, for now, we're still using beginning proficient, highly proficient, and distinguished based on PPST standard, the, the prof Philippine professional standards, and the master teacher, pagdating sa, after teacher seven, uh, ang master teacher will now make a decision whether he or she would like to stay in the classroom or would take on an administrative function. Pareho lang naman, uh, the, the, the grade level is the same, no? It's, uh, it's at grade 22. Um, I'm sure you have a lot of questions on the head teachers and the special education. Next slide, please. Para masagut na. And so that's how we will we will be aligning the 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 existing positions. And uh, I just wanted to show that there's really equity in what we will be implementing next year. Next slide. So in the career progression uh, roadmap. We're already on finalizing the enabling policy, the enabling mechanism, which is the IRR, and then we will be implementing it full next year, uh, given a one billion budget.